Hi, I'm Sean O'Meara. I'm Travis Hoyt. I'm Mary Moldefai. And today we're going to talk to you about deforestation. What is deforestation? Deforestation is clearing of trees, transforming the forest into a clear land. Deforestation is clearing Earth's forests on a massive scale, often resulting in damage in the quality of land. Forests still cover about 30% of the world's land, but swaths the size of Panama are lost each and every year. Deforestation is clearing the Earth's surface on a massive scale and is really dangerous to the environment, including the topsoil. Deforestation could happen naturally, not only by, a, by people. Uh, for example, by acid rain or by the population growth, urbanization and global warming are leading causes of deforestation. We need trees because it clears the air, which in turn slows the process of global warming or climate change. There's plenty of reasons why trees are cut down. Tobacco production would be my first idea. Forest fires, growth of population. Just think of how, many, how much wildlife and animals are being destroyed and ripped from their houses because it doesn't just affect Earths and it, it affects biodiversity. The loss of carbon storage and the look of it isn't too appealing. Here's a graph that shows the uh, patterns that different areas in the world are having with deforestation. As you can see, most of them have had a decrease in the amount of forest over the past not 10 years, um, other than areas like East Asia, North America, and Europe. There are different types of deforestation such as slash and burn. They are related to people just wanting more money and so this and providing for their families. The biggest drive of deforestation uh, is agricultural. Uh, forest farmers cut down the forest to provide more room for planting crops and for grazing uh, livestock. Often small farms will, will clear a few acres each year to feed their families by cutting down the trees and burning them. Um, <clears throat> logging operations provide the world's wood and paper products. Also cut countless trees each year. Logging, some of them act illegally. Also build roads to access more and more remote forests, which leads to the further deforestation. Forests are also cut as a result of growing urban sprawl. Worldwide consumption of wood is clearing forests for human settlement. Trade in wood products or wood products in general is the main reason in deforestation. I would like to say what is the demand for use wood for practically everything from building houses, furniture, paper, pencils, and tobacco. This is happening for human survival. There are non-international, non-intentional, some, in, some is caused by com combustion of humans combination of humans and natural factors like wildfires, rat, acid rain, and subsequent overgrazing, which may prevent the, the growth of young trees. Uh, increased greenhouse gas emissions. Forests help to mitigate. mitigate carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas emissions, but they become carbon sources when they are cut, burned, or otherwise removed. The main reason for climate change, or what leads to global warming, is deforestation. Unfortunately, there has been a dramatic change. If you compare just years ago to now, there have been major destruction in forests in Brazil, rated the first country to suffer from the highest deforestation of natural forests per year. The climate after deforestation occurs uh, results in no shade for plants and animals. Plants would die without the shade and the soil dries up. This image just results in, in a bunch of empty land. When carbon dioxide gets released into the air, this causes the air to warm up. Increasing temperature, this harms our life and our environment, causing multiple diseases. The more trees, the, the less oxygen in the atmosphere and the more carbon dioxide. Increased soil erosion. 
Without trees to anchor the fertile soil, erosion can occur and sweep the land into rivers and the agricultural plants that often replace the trees cannot hold onto the soil by themselves. Loss of habitat for millions of species. Deforestation often leads a loss of biodiversity because of plant reduction from deforestation. This could lead to animals with no shelter, food, or lifestyle. Or lifestyle, there's plenty of animals that are extinct from deforestation over the years. Bears. Mammalians, raccoons, skunks, woodpeckers, primates all began to all began to come to, by humans when ap, when or after deforestation occurs. Loss of biodiversity it could lead to animals becoming extinct. Possible solutions: one would be stop cutting down trees altogether. However, this would be highly unrealistic. We need trees to for survival, for human survival. A more workable solution is to carefully manage forest resources by eliminating clear cutting to ensure that forest environments remain intact. The cutting that does occur should be balanced by the planting of young trees to replace the older ones felled in any given forest. And that's all we that's have. It.